Always. Been a minute, but I have yet to perish. Anyway, a quick one about pressure resets, throws, uh, when to choose one over the other one, and stuff like that. Not sure how important it is for beginner players, but for all of you intermediate guys out there, throwing people left and right, pretty much like myself, I think, this is um, pretty important, actually. So, one thing I'm pretty sure you know is, generally speaking, before you try to throw or reset a pressure, you have to establish it's not the best idea to mash on your turn. Now from there we can reset the pressure or just go for the grab. Have you ever asked yourself a question when you should pick one over the other? Uh, I think I did once or twice or maybe a dozen of times, but to tell you the truth, I feel like it never really mattered to me that much, so I was pretty random with that stuff myself. But I don't really want to be anymore, so let's take a look into this. We've already established conditioning is the same. Now, the second thing that is quite similar about resets and throws is how easy it is to get out of them. I'm not going over each defensive option, but uh, generally speaking, whatever defensive option you pick to escape the throw will cover pressure resets as well. There are exceptions for sure, but both throws and resets are pretty easy to escape if you expect them. The big difference is risk reward. Compared to throw, pressure reset is just lower risk. If you whiff a throw, best case you lose a turn, worst case you die. So I thought about this and uh, here's what I personally think. If you have a resource, whether it is a burst or meter or just life ball, combination of those most likely, it's okay to throw. Uh, it's fine. Especially if you have meter because you can PRC on a whiff. Otherwise I think it's generally better idea to build up the meter first, so maybe you should do some pressure resets instead. So yeah, mostly this is all about making a decision based on how much resource is available to you at the moment. This, I feel, is just super important to become a more consistent player. So yeah, I think this is all for the video. Thanks for tuning in. If I'm still alive, I'll get you up later. Take care.